Uh, yeah, I think we're in the right place most of the time. We could probably give a little bit more effort. Um, there's some game plan things that, that we've blown some switches, blown some coverages. So you don't want to see that. And then offensively, we still got to keep finding ourselves. But like I said, it's all dependent on who you're playing. So I think for, for the series we're in right now, we're doing okay. And, and obviously, we got to continue to keep being sharper and being focused and locked in, you know, for the next series. And um, obviously, we got to do our job and close this one out. Uh, but looking ahead, I think um, there's a lot of room for improvement, like I said. So hopefully, we can improve in game four and get the job done. Thanks, Fred. Appreciate it. Next, we have Josh Lewinberg from TSN. Hey, Fred. Congrats on the win. Now that you guys are three games into the series, has it helped at all not to have to deal with the travel and, and the road and game three specifically, the road crowd? Has there been any benefit to the bubble environment just in terms of simplicity going through a series? Um, it's definitely different. I, to be honest, I can't really tell, you know, because it's I, we've been here long enough that we're adjusted to the situation we're in. So comparing it to, you know, last year and the previous years I've been in the playoffs, it's a, you know, extremely different environment situation. So I can't say if it's better or worse. I mean, we're 3 and all right now. So obviously it's, it's going well for us. Uh, just got to keep continuing to get our rest and recovery. Um, I will say they had the Brooklyn the crowd. They had the, the, the volume up pretty loud in there tonight. I don't know if uh, – they were a little louder than, than we had ours turned up for our two home games, but you could definitely uh, tell the difference for sure. That's what Nick was saying as well. Uh, in terms of Serge, he got off to a bit of a slow start today. Could you sort of see him in the process, like early in the game, figuring out the way the defense is playing him? And, and do you sort of see that that switch go off where where it clicks for him? Yeah, I mean, I, I liked I liked how he looked early. He just was missing. I just if his touch was a little off. He took he took the shots. He stepped into him. He was aggressive. And I uh, liked the shots that he was taking, and it just didn't go in. So he missed the jump hook. I remember it's the elbow jumper. And then he was able to find a touch. And, and you know, once he gets going, it's, he's not really looking at the defense. It's just like a workout drill for him. So I thought he, he looked good, you know, once he once he found his touch. And, and we just, you know, try to continue to keep finding him. But he's been a beast for us on the defensive end and on the glass and inside. Obviously, they're playing smaller a lot. So with them switching, we just need him to keep being dominant down there in the post. And that's what he's been doing. Thanks, Rod. Have a good night. Next, we got Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Rod, good to talk to you. Um, when you're on a, on a roll the way you are now, not to jinx you, but uh, do you do you think about it much? I mean, do you uh, do you kind of pay attention to the fact that you're you're rolling? Or again, I apologize, but my job. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks for your apology. Um, <laughs> No, not really. I just try to keep being aggressive. I mean, look, uh, I've said it for four years now, and I don't – when I'm not shooting well, it sounds like cliche garbage, and when I am, it sounds like, you know, which I, what I should be saying. But it's the same confidence that I always have, and the ball is just going in for me right now. So I um, just keep trying to find my spots and, and keep improving. I'm, I'm working my butt off. I'm working in between, day, um, in between games. Um, in practice, whether it's, you know, a short time or a long time, just keep continuing to, to work on, on my offensive game and find my spots. And my teammates are doing a great job of finding me and, and screening and our bigs are screening and just finding creases where, where I feel like um, I can get good looks off. And as long as I continue to keep getting looks off, you know, I feel good about um, the ball going in. So I don't think about it from the standpoint, I think, the what you're thinking about it, but I do know that, you know, I'm feeling good right now, and obviously, it's got to keep continue to be consistent with that. Is there uh, is there something that you are better at as a player than you were, say, 18 months ago? Uh, yeah, I would hope so. Should I work? I work too hard to not be better than I was. So I feel like I'm better in every aspect: I'm shooting the ball, decision making, creating shots for others, getting into the lane, finishing at the rim. Um, so yeah, I, I pride myself on being a hard worker. I pride myself on coming back better each year. And I think this, I worked my butt off during the, the suspension. And I feel like I'm better now than I was during the season. And just got to keep continue to grow each day. So I will hope that, that I'm better at a lot of things. And um, I think for me, just keep continuing to be aggressive for our team and, and trying to help us win as, as much as possible. So going forward, you'll keep seeing that. And whether the ball's going in or not, uh, it'll be the same me. So it is what it is. <laughs> See, at my age, Fred, uh, it's, it's all about not getting worse. Um, <laughs> uh, one more question. I'll let you go. I apologize. Uh, how important is it for you guys to close out? 
Um, you know, does it matter if this goes four or five? What are the benefits of it going four besides the obvious of, of winning the series? Yeah, I mean, you play to win. We don't we don't play to to play the series. You know, you play 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 your big guns early and and you try to to get it over. With. So the purpose of going three and zero, so you can go four and zero, and and you know we got to go out there and take care of business. But we know this team's not going to quit. They got a lot of uh, hard playing guys, talented guys, as you saw there in the third. Those guys didn't quit, and they're going to keep keep continue to play hard. And we just got to keep doing what we do and and try to take care of business. But we know it won't be easy. Thank you, Fred. Have a good night. Next, we have John Schumann from NBA.com. Hey, Fred, what was better about your guys' defense today that Allen didn't get any clean rolls to the rim uh, like he had been getting in the first two games? Um, just keep your team to make adjustments, um, change the coverages, giving giving Karras different looks, giving uh, Allen different looks. So we we, we tweaked some things. Um, I think Karras got a little more loose this game than he did in the previous two due to, to our scheme change that we did. Um, so keep your tight, you know, keep trying to give them different looks and, and not give them the same look every game. That's that's really all we try to do is keep them on their toes and, and um, keep them off balance and keep them guessing. So uh, we gave Karras a little more. We gave Allen a little less. And obviously, they, I know they missed Joe tonight, so we were able to stay home with some of the other guys. Um, so just, a, you know, it's a chess match. You got to keep, keep your team to make adjustments throughout each series. Appreciate it. And final question is going to Stephen Lung from Sportsnet. Hey, Fred. Thanks for doing this. Um, I was just wondering, like, like uh, it looks like you've developed, like, a really strong pick-and-roll chemistry with, with Serge. I just want to know, like, 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 uh, like, like how, how did that develop? Was, was that just something that, like, just from, from playing together? Did you guys work together specifically to, to kind of get to this level where you're clicking the, the way you are at? Um, no, I think it's just uh, time. And we've been playing together for a few years now, and obviously we were on the bench uh, together last year. So um, I think that's a strength of his. It's a strength of mine. And uh, the best thing about me and Serge is we continue to communicate with each other, um, possession to possession, game to game, practice to practice. We just keep talking. He's telling me what he's seeing. I'm telling him what I'm seeing. And, um, you know, we both like to shoot open shots. So we just keep trying to find each other and find the chemistry. I think it took some time for – you know, Serge to trust me and, and vice versa. And, you know, we keep continuing to, to work that relationship and hopefully we can keep it going in the future. And uh, it, it seems like this team talks about a theoretical, like, peak level that, 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 that you guys are aiming for. Like, like in, in your mind, what, what, what does that peak level look like? Uh, championship in October. So that's what it looks like for me.